Hello, my name is Marcel. I'm the curator here at the Lac La Biche Museum. And today I'm gonna to show you guys a few of the knives we have in our collections here. So the first knife I'm going to show you is a Dag trade knife. Now a Dag trade knife was a trading item sold at the Hudson's Bay Company between the 1700s and the early 1900s. So people who came to the Hudson's Bay Company would have bought the knife itself up to the tang here. Now, what they would have done is they would either have attached this to a wooden pole. Now, commonly, this would have been used as a self-defense item when they're out in the bush. Now, one of the things we do know about this knife is that the design changed in 1823 when the Northwest Company, the Hudson's Bay Company, merged. The design changed to something a little bit larger in terms of the blade. Now this is a smaller blade with a smaller medium and likely this is from 1820. Okay, this next item here, this is a fleshing knife and how this would have worked is hide would have been placed onto a beam and this would have been scraped across the hide to scrape off the flesh. Now these were commonly made out of wood and they have a thin edge on the end of it so flesh can be easily scraped off with. But this is a modern take on the fleshing knife as we can see with the electrical tape on the handles. Now this is where the old kind of meets the new. And this is likely from the late 90s or the early 2000s. This next item here, this is an Ulu knife. This would have been made by the Inuit people, the Yupik, and also the Alouette people of Northern Canada and Northern United States. The, this is a very old tool used by many different peoples. And commonly, this edge right here would have been made with slate. The handle would often be made with either wood or bone, depending on the availability of both. Now, depending where the knife was found, there was the copper Inuit who often made the edge here with copper. And it's a very versatile tool used over a very, very long period of time. Now, this particular Ulu knife was made in the 1950s by the Hudson's Bay Company right here in Canada. This knife, this is an L48 model Boy Scout knife produced in the 1940s. Now, these types of knives were produced between the 1940s and the 1990s. And this is a highly sought after collector's item by collectors who collect Boy Scout knives. Now, the museum here is very attached to this knife, so it's not going anywhere anytime soon. This particular knife was made in Sheffield, England, uh, and came here to the museum back in the early 2000s. This last knife here is very colorful and very ornate. We don't know what year this was made. However, this blade here is stainless steel. And what a couple of things we know about stainless steel, stainless steel came onto the market in the late 19th century, early 20th century. And at the time it was very expensive to purchase. So it wasn't for everyday use in the home. But by the 1940s and 1950s, stainless steel became more inexpensive. And it was used in a lot more homes starting then. Now the hilt here is very ornate and it's using modern string and also modern beads. And it came into our collections uh, in the mid 2010s. And it's a very nice piece that we have and we appreciate it immensely. Okay, so that's all we have here for today. Again, I appreciate you guys taking a look into our collections with me, and I will see you next time.